Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 2nd of July 2024. I hope you are keeping well and reasonably sane uh, in these troubled times that we live in. Uh, earlier in my Guardian video I berated the Supreme Court for its decision. Uh, not that they listen to me of course, or, <laughs> or anybody listens to me of course, but uh, you know sometimes it feels good to vent some anger. And even though I'm not American, it's the, you know this, the injustice of what they're doing is so outrageous. Um, but I wanted to talk now about uh, how the media is covering it because I actually saw that I, I was clicking through YouTube channels and it, I got a suggestion. It said breaking news, uh, Trump decision, you know, for Supreme Court decision on Trump, and it was NBC. So I clicked on it to see what was going on, and the the I'd missed the. The, if there was a live transmission that it was kind of over there were, there were some talking heads in the studio and the first person that I saw came on and said that, that it was a measured decision and I, I you know after explaining what the decision uh, I had heard uh, what the decision was there was, there was some explanation of it and then this woman came on and said it was a measured decision I thought well you need a new dictionary because uh, I don't believe that was measured at all really not at all and then another person came on and she spoke for like 10 seconds on the decision. And then she went on and on about how Biden needs to step aside and put some... What on earth has it got to do with Biden? That this, 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 this news was nothing to do with Biden. And she went on and on about how Biden needs to stand aside, blah, blah, blah. It was absolutely nothing to do with Biden. And so I thought that was really bad, uh, really bad coverage. But, um, you know, the, the problem is that traditional media, mainstream media, as it's often... Called, sometimes it seems like a derogatory term. I don't think it has to be, but it is used in that way. Just doesn't know how to cover a fascist takeover. Uh, you know, they don't seem to have learned from history that when Hitler took over power, he did so in legal ways. And uh, they, they don't seem to have learned anything from that. So they just carry on and just, you know, mildly, let's have both, uh, both sides-ism on this kind of stuff. And it's just terrible. We are, you know... A nightmare world at the moment, I think, in terms of politics. Fortunately, our lives can revolve around more personal-centered things, your own personal happiness. Try not to let politics spoil your own life, right? Try to remember you have friends, family, loved ones, neighbors, whoever, pets possibly around you. There are people around you who care for you and who will support you and you can do things with too. Get this stuff, this terrible stuff out of your mind for a while. And I know I'm kind of reminding you of it by doing these videos, but I don't want people to be asleep to what's going on. It's just that we also have to consider our own sanity in such situations. Shall we get on with the game of Sudoku? I can see four blocking across here. This is the New York Times hard level puzzle, playing it nice and early. I don't think I have any work today, but I said yesterday I didn't have any work, and I got some as I was playing the game of Sudoku. So maybe I'll get lucky and... Uh, Somebody will contact me again and say, hey, do you want to do some work today? <clears throat> this is the precariousness of life. Three blocking across here and there. That's going to put a three into that square. Okay, so we've got three blocking up here, which puts three into one of these squares here, blocking up there. Three blocks across here, but as you can probably see, the three blocks... Actually, we can. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should do this first. I didn't realize I could. I thought I could place threes there, but nope, I can do better than that. I can actually firmly fix in a three. So now all I've got to do is this and this and say three blocks those squares. So three has to be in that square for that column. <clears throat> I've had a huge breakfast. Um, which means I shouldn't need to have lunch. We have two blocking down here and across there, so that'll give me a two there.
Uh, I think we're missing 1478 in this column here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me I'll double check. 1478, four numbers. <coughs> I don't see 1478. Got to be careful because I don't want to get another fluke. 1, 7, and 8 are in the same row. So that has to be a 4 then. <coughs> So that'll give us, since we've got seven blocking there, that'll give us a pair of sevens there as well. Something that might be useful. Never know. Sevens are there. Sevens are across there. Uh, okay, I think I've got something here. <coughs> In this block over here, we've got two limited to top and right, uh, top and bottom uh, rows. Okay, now we've got two blocking here and two blocking here, so that means two has to be in this square or this square, right? Which again is top or bottom. So that means we can only look for twos in those squares there, and we've got two blocking up there and two blocking up there, so that in fact will be a two. <coughs> I'm going to go through the digits uh, numerically and, be, and I'm going to probably color in some squares because I have a feeling the coloring in might help me a little bit. <coughs> We've got ones in those squares there. Ah, one and six down here, one and six down there. See, that coloring helped me immediately. Uh, help me spot that there was a possible pair there so I looked for it the, and there I found the one and the six so we've got a one and a six in those squares although they're not in a straight line so that makes it a little more difficult but anyway let's see what else we get uh, so one and six in old money that's threes are in those squares which I knew already anyway uh, five I don't think I know anything about sevens are here which I think I knew anyway because sevens were up here, right? So sevens. And how about eight? <coughs> uh, not get any help on eight. So the one and the six. Thank you for nothing. I think I'm going to say. Oh well, can't win them all. Can't win any actually, but <laughs> it feels like that recently. <coughs> we've got another pair of one and eight up here so i've got one and eight in that top row but i need a third digit of course to make those three um hmm. i was going to go through the numbers and i stopped so let's start again because i didn't get very far okay
goodness, I went as far as nine, <coughs> because there's going to be a nine that's there. So, uh, I had, yes, I see it now, sixes. I was going to say, I know I saw something in one of those two squares before. What was it? It was the six, in fact. Six blocking across there. There we go. <coughs> six and six to the top. No, that's not going to help. I thought that was going to help, but it's not. Sixes in those squares. Um, two, six, seven, isn't it? Hmm. I'm really not getting anywhere, so uh, <coughs> I have a one quick pass through, and then I shall uh, put in some pencil marks to finish the game, I guess. <coughs> As I have said many times, this is not a notation-free channel. I don't mind if um, commenters want to put in their own solutions, that's fine and dandy with me, but... Um, that doesn't mean that that's how I am going to play the game myself. <clears throat> Two over there. Ah, now we've got four opened up that wasn't there before, so lucky I did go through there. And a four across here. Oh, lucky I continued on looking for the easy numbers because the situation had in fact changed. I noticed it had changed. In that case, we might go back again. Or maybe...
was looking at how this f uh, fire of fives there might help me, but I don't see how it does. We definitely have um, seven and one here in this row here, but that doesn't really do much for me because we still got the five and the eight to sort out, and this could be five eight or this could be five eight. So I, I can't really, I can't really grab much from that. I don't think anything's going to come to my rescue here. Okay, so I don't, with, you know, I don't want to go on all day long with this game, so let's uh, put in some pencil marks. The one and the six go there, as I mentioned before. Sevens are there and there and here and there. Uh, let's see any more about the ones. Yep, pair of ones up there. Um pair of twos over there and here and there which I've seen already so this is not new. Threes are in these squares I know, I've seen it enough times. Fours are here and there and there and there I know, remember that much. Five, well we have a pair of fives there which doesn't help me a great deal as I said and that's about all I know about fives really sixes are a pair up there oh I forgot to put in the twos up there didn't I I said earlier two blocking those squares uh, six where am I So seven blocks this square here, this square here, so seven's got to be in those squares there. Eights are somewhere up there. And nines are across here and there. Oops, wrong. Hey, what's going on here? There we are. there and I think that's it so on I shall go with my candidate filling despite your protestation this despite the protestations of some people <laughs> uh, let's try this middle block where I've got the one six then I think we'll just yeah I think we'll try this middle shoot and maybe we'll try this shoot over here uh, let's see, um, one and six is done, one, two, three, four, five, do we know anything about five anywhere? Well, up in this block here we know fives go in those squares, but down here we've got no idea. Six, seven, we don't have eights yet, eight blocks down there, so eight can go anywhere there. Nine is done, so back up here for this one, two, three, four, five, six blocking up there. So we get six in those squares there, seven across there. So that's a pair of sevens, 
Uh, oh, it's a single seven, isn't it? <laughs> That's a seven, because we got nine already. So there we are. I don't know why people complain that it's so that you have to use that you mustn't use pencil marks because that is a perfect example of how easy it becomes to see when you use pencil marks seven there so now seven across here seven across there didn't need that one but we know that seven is in that square there and that's going to be our six we also know seven must be in that square there and we can delete our previous candidate seven and the six is going to do what it's going to remove that square there at least and we're also going to say that this now is a two so that will be a two there and this is not a two <coughs> um, so missing digits over here and here are eight and five and I don't think we can say which is which just yet uh, but we have got a 1 blocking down here now, so we can say that 1s are in those squares there, and that means that this is not a digit 1 any longer. <coughs> I forgot actually, 1 blocks down here and down here, I forgot to say. Uh, we put 1s into those squares there, so now we have a pair of 1 and 7, which I didn't quite know before I think. And this is going to be 5 and 8. Any help on 5 or 8 from anywhere? The answer is no. That's also got to be 5 or 8. Any help on anywhere? Answer no. So let's put the 5, 8 in there first. <coughs> uh, and I think we're going to look again to see uh, this is the only spot for a 1 now so that's our 1 and that's our 7 this has to be a 5 all of this block is filled in already so we don't have to worry about making mistakes there this is a 6 we'll get rid of those 6's and we'll put ourselves a 6 here We've also got a pair of sixes up there for easy reference and sixes here right uh, don't have any completed digits just yet uh, but that's going to be a two for sure and this is not So our 5 blocking this square means that 5 has to be in one of those two squares down there. Uh, let's get working again, shall we? That's the only spot for a 7 now then. So we've got 3, 8 here, so that's going to be our 5. This must be our 8, and we will get ourselves an 8 here. And that means that that can't be 8, and it can't be 5, so it's got to be 9. And the 5 will be down here. <coughs> Uh, this can't be a 9 now, it must be a 4, so 4 is in that square there, 5 there, 9 in that square. Uh, got to get rid of something up here, 4 has got to go, can't have a 4 there. Um, 4 is finished now, okay, so we've got our pair of 1 and 8 there, uh, we can finish this particular row with... Uh, five I think and this is a six and this is a six here and this is not so five blocks this square so in this row there's our five which means that's a five this is an eight 
that's an 8 there, this is our 1. <coughs> 3 there, 8 there. 3 there. Uh, what else? 5 blocks this square, so that's going to be a 5. This has to be a 9 in that case. 2 goes there, and this is 8. So 8 there, 1 there. Um, what's to be done? It's down here. 9 blocking down here, so there's the 9. This must be a 1. 1 blocks across here. Here's the 1. There's the 7. 7 across this way. There's the 7. This is a 2, and that's all done. So it took me a long time because I waited a long time to put in the pencil marks. But once they were in, I think uh, not too bad. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.